Hello, welcome to another episode of The Whipping Prophet by Sister Philomena. So today I am going to interpret Revelation 13 from verse 1 to 10 as consigning a rope. The important information that every 100% Jesus Christ Christian should know about this revelation and the information may be a turning point in your life, especially if you are an European. I said I will preach to you as well as to the rest of the world. So verse 1 of Revelation, the book of Revelation 13 said, um, The Europeans, why is it that everything associated with, with blaspheming to God is very interesting and acceptable to you? Lucifer knew from the beginning that you are so vulnerable in terms of welcoming anything out of the ordinary scope without much resistance or questions. That was why he, Lucifer, started his operations from Europe. The beast is with ten horns and seven heads, and there was a crown and on each of his heads, and a name that was insulting to God. The seven heads here represents the seven <clears throat> continents of the earth. The beast here is a very powerful organization that removed the world through the world leaders. The ten horns here are the seven, uh, uh, the ten horns here are into two uh, divided. Seven from these ten horns are the seven presidents of the seven continents. Then the remaining three horns are, you know, belongs to those following persons, the Vatican, the Buckingham Palace, and a great lobbyist whose name escaped my memory. So these horns are powers given to those people I mentioned. On their heads, we are insulting names to God, meaning that they are hidden godless activities going on among the heads of our continents. Whatever power they are operating with is 100% opposed to God and insulting to God. Verse 2 the meaning of verse 2 is this, that this beast, which represented a very powerful organization and 100% Lucifer and satanic controls our world and every single thing in our world. They control 100% of every important and even less important positions in this world. The description of the beast's nature here means that they have various powers and these powers are strong rooted with unmovable connections or network. They presented a figure that almost looked like the description of Revelation 13 to to us, the statue of an animal that looked like a yawa with uh, different colors to the world as identity or logo of the world. We accepted it and no president of the world objected it. We officially accepted the beast to be the identity of the world. It was given as a gift to you and as they said, and the same gift become the identity or logo of you and and the wall, of course, the wall to the base script or uh, sculpture given to them as a gift and converted it to the wall's image. By the way, what happened to the good defeat evil statue? None. <laughs> evil statue is not the identity of the wall. And when you really know what I'm talking about, what is actually the big difference between the good defeat evil status and this particular status that is now being used as UN identity. Then my question is, who are 
United Nations. Who are they? How many countries are there? You now understand the reason why it is not just you and me. We are talking about our war in general. Vastrena said, one of the heads seemed to be fatally wounded, but the wound had healed. Here, Revelation is talking about Europe. The Europeans fought so many wars against themselves from the Middle East, Scotland, Wales, England, Spania, Napoleon, the Trojan War, which lasted almost 10 years, Alexander the Great, Constantine, King Arthur. Most of the events that lead to the First World War was also from Europe. Then the rise of the dictator in the form of Hitler played an important role in the Second World War. The wars dealt a miserable blow on the Europe continent. But the wounds, they are all healed. The creation of European Union helped in checking excessive abuse of powers in Europe. The creation of political, cultural, and moral Europe. And then when you talk about moral Europe, there are two different concepts of Christianity in Europe. Europe became became a, a very beautiful place to live again. The whole earth was amused on how the beast succeeded in bringing peace and rebuilding Europe. <laughs> Verse 4. Who is the dragon? The ruling evil powers of this world, 100% Lucifer, Satan himself. The beast is the world's most powerful satanic society. No one dares oppose them. They have remotes for powers. Verse 5. The beast was allowed to make claims which were insulting to God. They turn all the dons from God to do's on earth. Bibles are altered to make the word of God more liberal. Freedom to human, in, uh, to human rights. Or freedom of human rights. Well, let me put it that way. Freedom of human rights are taken to, you know, um, to God. Thereby insulting and annoying God with the, with you know, the promotion of evil. Verse six says they began to cause God His name, the place where He lives, meaning evil acts are promoted and celebrated. Most of them made their way into her, our constitutions. These moves are made in order to make it stay there forever. Everything about God is pushed to the grave. Verse 7. It was allowed to fight against God's people. Were the laws back in most things hated by God. An unfavorable situation is the case for the children of God. God's words are preached with careful choice of words. It is not only backed with the law, but is also taken to the church and actually promoted there by the very people who are supposed to stand with God. Evil ideologies are embedded to the church of God. No race, tribe, nation, language is safe from those people. Verse 8. If you're not 100% Jesus Christ, you're, you already have their mark on you. If you are 100% Jesus, you have the seal of God on you. Do you want to know how? See how they get uneasy whenever you are around them. See how they clear their throats. See how they sit with cross legs. It is not a fashion. It is a, a sort of defense method. See how they are uncomfortable if you want to buy something from them. If you belong to any branch of forces of darkness, I am not here to call names, brother, sister. You are living with the mark of the beast on you. The worst is this. Those defeated Christians who couldn't stand their trials in life 
have joined them. Fast 99,7% of the world population are all members. If you're not 100% Jesus Christ, you have the mark of the beast. Marine spirits, witch, wizards, warlock, secret societies, new age, and the list goes on. Wrong for your life. Move out now, you have time. There are those who know the truth but still remain put because everybody is doing it. It's a kind of protection they say. Then I will ask you, is your name everybody? You are specially and wonderfully made by God. That your pastor may belong to them, not minding the crowd he's pulling. Now check this out in verse 8 and 10. All people living on earth will worship it except those whose names we are written before the creation of the earth in the book of the living. Verse 10 now says, whoever is meant to be captured will be captured. If this don't ring a bell to you, then nothing on this earth will, make, will move you. Here, Revelation is telling us that majority of the people who worship the beast are in various categories. Some knowingly worship him. Some unknowingly worship him. Some we are forced by loyalty to worship him. Some we are treated to worship him. Some worship him thinking that they worship God. And this category of people are faithful followers of fake prophets uh, or pastors. You should now understand why verse 9 said, Listen then if you have ears. The listing here is more than ordinary listing. It means you should listen and assess what you hear with the word of God. That's why it is dangerous to leave the reading of your Bible to your pastors or the GOs. God bless you. That is it from Sister Philomena, the weeping prophet.